Hey guys, SuperJR23 here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to optimize your PC for gaming. And it's actually quite simple as long as you follow exactly what I do. So first things first, we're going to go down here. We're going to type system restore. Create restore point. Then we're going to go over here and we'll go to our C drive. The one with Windows. Click configure. And then we're going to click turn on system protection. Set this to 3 to 5% and then press apply. Okay. Next, we're going to go down here. We're going to go to the gear icon right here. Click it and it will take you here. Go home. I don't know why it takes you to Cortana. Screw that. And um, then we're going to go to system. We're going to go to notification and actions. We're going to turn all these off just like this. Turn them all off. Then we're going to go to focus assist. Off. Then we're going to go to multitasking. Turn it all off. Virtual desktop, leave this alone. Turn off shared experiences. And re remote desktop, if you don't use it, turn it off. Then we're going to go to storage. And we're going to go to storage sense, turn this on. Then to speed up your network connection, we're going to go to the network and internet. We're going to click the type of e or the type of internet connection you have. So I have an ethernet. Then you're going to click your internet. And then you're going to click this on. We're then going to go to settings again, personalization, then we're going to go to color. Then we're going to go down here and you're going to see transpar transparency effects. So um, you can turn that on and off if you want. You, so you can see, you can tell what it does. Having this on will slow down your computer a tiny bit, so it's personal preference. And then down here, you're going to want to put light or dark, it's also personal preference. As you can see, that's what it does. After that, we're going to go down to gaming. And all this is personal preference, except for game mode, turn this on. Okay, then we're going to go down here into privacy. We're going to go to general, turn everything off. Then we're going to go to diagnostic and feedback. Turn on basic. Then scroll down here. And press delete. If I press delete, you see something that you're not supposed to see, so we're not going to press delete. Go to location. Change, turn that off. Then we're going to go down here and click clear location. And after that, we're going to go down here and clear location history and then you could close it. Okay, next step is we're gonna go in the control panel. We're gonna go to system and security, power options, drop down menu right here. It says show additional plans. We're gonna find the one that says high performance. If you don't see that, you're gonna click create a power plan. Then you're gonna start with an existing one, high performance. You can name it if you want, LOL, I don't care. Then click next and it should make it. But I'm not going to do that because I already have it. Next, we're going to change plan settings. We're going to change advanced power settings. We're going to see hard disk. Turn off hard disk after zero minutes. Whoops, I did not mean after zero minutes. Yes. Okay, then we can minimize that. Then we're going to go down to process power management. We're going to open up minimal processor state and maximum processor state. Make sure they're at 100%. System cooling, it's active. You don't really need to look at that. But yep, you can close that. Click save changes. Then we're going to go back to control panel. So then we're going to go to system and security, system, advanced system settings. I'm going to drag this to the middle of the screen and you're going to see performance right here. You're going to click settings. You're going to disable all of them by pressing custom. Then uncheck them all and then check show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges on of screen fonts. Then press apply. And after you do those settings right there, you're going to go to advanced. You're going to check programs and you're going to go to virtual memory and you're going to click change. You're then going to click all your drives, click no paging file, set. Yes. Do that for all of them. So now it says none, none, none. Then this is going to be a bit tricky to understand, but if you have an SSD, install your page file onto your SSD. If you have no SSD but you have several hard drives, install it onto the hard drive with no games. And if you only have one drive, obviously install it onto that one drive. So me, I'm gonna wanna install it onto my SSD one terabyte. Since I have two SSDs, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm just gonna click system manage size, then click set, press okay. It's gonna say you need to restart, just skip that, click apply, okay. And you can close out of that. Next is gonna be something pretty simple. Gonna to go to control panel. So next one's pretty simple. You're gonna to go to control panel, uninstall program. Once you're in here, guys, all you're gonna to wanna to do is go through here, uninstall the things that you no longer use. And if you don't know what it is, look it up. And if, if it's by Microsoft or Intel or any of that, obviously don't uninstall it. 
But um, if you don't know what it is, look it up, and if you still don't know what it is, leave it alone. After you uninstall all that stuff, you're going to go to Task Manager, and then you're going to go to Startup. And once you're here, you're going to disable everything that you don't want to start up when you turn on your computer. So all you're going to do is, like, say this was enabled. So I don't want this uh, enabled every time I start my computer. You're going to right click and click disable. So you're going to do that with everything that you don't want to start up. This you're going to want to start up, unless you're me. <laughs> this, pro this basically makes sure that viruses don't load up before your system's security pro program loads. So that's a good thing to have. But yeah, after you go through here and disable everything you don't need, you can close that. Okay, next option is you're going to want to go down here. You're going to want to type msconfig. It will open up system configurations. You're going to go to boot. You're going to check no GUI. Timeout, we're going to put it to 5. But I'm special, so I'm putting it at 3. And then you're going to click OK. Exit without restart. And this is for bad PCs only. You're going to go down here and you're going to type indexing options right there. Whoops. You're going to go to modify. And you're going to uncheck everything. After you uncheck everything, you'll just get press OK and close. Okay guys, the next step is going to be downloading this right here. It's called Driver Easy. I have a video tutorial on how to download the full version for free. The free version doesn't do anything, but I will have that link in the description. And if you don't want to use this program, I'll show you a way of how to do it without the program. It's just a lot harder. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and show you how to use this. So all you do is open it and press scan now. It will scan basically your whole computer, all the dri drivers and stuff to see if it needs updating. And if it finds anything that needs updating, it will prompt you to update it here. And there we go. As you can see, I need to update some drivers. I'm not going to right now just because I am busy doing the video. But you would click update all, let that run in the background, and you can continue doing everything else while it does that. And um, you're also going to need WinRAR for that, so... That will be in the link of the description of this video as well. And so if you didn't want to get that program, which is pretty helpful, but you can go down to Device Manager by typing Device Manager. This will pop up. What you're going to want to do is you want to go through all of these. So if I open all these, you get the, you get the gist. You open all these and you go through them one by one and click Update Driver. Search automatically. It will search the web for that driver. And once it does, it will let you know, see, it will say it's either already installed or it will update. And you can do that and install all, or do it for all these things. Like I said, um, it, it would be time, it would be pretty time consuming to do this. With the driver easy program, it just does it in the background for you. And after you make sure all your drivers are updated, you're also going to want to make sure your Windows is updated. So you just type Windows and Windows update right here, check for updates. And make sure you're up to date on Windows. I am not, but I'll do that after the video, obviously. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download CCleaner. Um, the CCleaner download is in the description as well. But I also have a way of getting the full version, which you can use the free version for this if you would like. But um, the full version, I have a video on that as well, and that will also be in the description. But um, in here, all you're going to want to do is click Easy Clean, Analyze. It'll analyze your PC, clean it out, then you click clean all. I'm not going to do it because I am currently making a video. So then after that, after you do the clean, you're going to go to registry. You're going to click scan for issues. And after it's done, you're going to click fix selected issues. No, fix all issues, close. Then you're going to click scan for issues again. And you're going to keep repeating this until you have no issues. So no issues, so I'm good. After that, you're going to, you can close out of C cleaner. You are done. You can need to go down here and type CMD. You'll get command prompt, right click it, run as administrator. Then you're going to want to type SFC space slash scan now. Just like that. It will begin a system scan and you will let it do this. This will take about 15 minutes, so let it do that. Next step, you're going to go back down here. You're going to type run. It will open up with this. Then you're going to type MDSCHED.exe. You're going to click Check for problems the next time I start my computer. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to. You're going to click that. And then when you restart your computer, it will go through and do that. Next, you're going to go to File Explorer. Then you're going to go to your, this PC. You're going to right click a drive and click Properties. 
And then you're going to see disk cleanup right here. You can go ahead and run this if you want. C Cleaner does that it's already though, so it don't matter. You're going to go to Tools. You're going to go to Optimize. And then you're going to click each drive and click Optimize. Then click this, click Optimize, click this, click Optimize. You can also set a schedule for this. So you would click Change Settings. Run a, on a schedule recommended, which I recommend too. Weekly and increase task priority if three consecutive schedule runs are missed. Because you're going to want to keep these optimized. So next step is you're going to want to go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Then you're going to want to go to Manage 3D Settings. And um, you're going to want to copy these settings. Once you do that, you can close out of that. And you are done. Your computer is optimized for gaming. It's That's it. Good job. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're new. This video took a long time to make, so any subs and likes will be appreciated. And yeah, peace out.